earlier this year, my wardrobe stylist, Cynthia Gardner, forced me, I mean, helped me to tackle some spring cleaning in my closet at home. This is tough love here, people. <laughs> Goodbye, faux fur, suede, vest. I would say that this is something that you would probably not be wearing a lot. It's so cute, right though. I have too many shoes. These, yes. I think, of senior day. Every year, I think, hmm, maybe I'll wear those this year, and I don't. So I think we should donate these. So if you're one of those who thinks breaking up with your clothes is hard to do, I am right there with you. But during that little exercise, I learned that we wear just 20% of the clothes we own 80% of the time. Did you all know that? And the rest just hang there and collect dust. So why not put what we're not wearing to good use and give those items a purposeful second life by donating them to Dress for Success, an organization that prepares women for the jobs they want by helping them look their best and so much more. I am Katie Murphy. I am the Director of Communications for Dress for Success Worldwide. Dress for Success was founded in New York City in 1997. Simply put, we help women get back to work and we empower women within the workforce. In those 17 years, we've been able to serve more than 775,000 women. My name is Jennifer Wojtovich. I was born and raised in Taiwan. I was laid off about two months ago and it was a shocking news for sure. It, it definitely created a little insecurity for me, only because you don't know what's next. That was the, the thought process I was going through when I got laid off. My name is Tamara Bullock, and I'm from the lovely island of Jamaica. I came to the U.S. for college. I've held a number of administrative assistant roles. I definitely now at this point want to use my, my degree in a different way. My name is Eve Cardona and I'm a single mom of two teenage boys that are 13 and 14. I used to work in the state uh, office building in Harlem. I left the job because I had decided I was gonna go back to school. It was a difficult decision to make. I had some concerns, obviously, financial and also as a single parent, but at the time I figured, you know, sometimes you have to take a few steps back in order to take a leap forward. A lot of people know us as the organization that gives suits to women in need. That's just one aspect of what we do. Um, it's really our career development and career retention programming that is the cornerstone of our organization. I joined Dress for Success in 2009, and it's been a blessing. Right now, I'm in the works of starting my own business. One of the biggest um, things that Dress for Success advocate for is truly never give up on yourself. Dress for Success came into my life at a very crucial time. One of the first things that Dress for Success did was assist in me in obtaining sort of like a week's worth of professional attire. And obviously when you have a nice suit on and you're looking very professional, you can you know, stand up a little taller um, and you feel a little bit more confident. Dress for Success believes that every woman can succeed. Sometimes that belief can waver a little bit. But being a part of this organization just continues to reinforce that belief. I've always been a confident person, but it's nice to be reminded. The ultimate goal of Dress for Success is to see every woman around the world working. We would love to see more women CEOs around the world. We're all about the girl boss at Dress for Success. So from Dress for Success, please welcome Katie Murphy. Thank nice you. to see you. How are you? Good. You know, we should mention before we start our conversation that Jennifer, T Tamara, and Eve are all backstage raiding the rack, so to speak, yes. with Cynthia. They're looking at some of the items gently worn, or in some cases not worn very much at all, and they're, we're going to see them transformed in our next segment. But you know, it strikes me, Katie, that one of the great things about Dress for Success is the sense of community it provides for these women and support and guidance in almost all aspects of their lives. Definitely. Whether she's unemployed and searching, recently employed and adjusting, or even if she's gainfully employed, even if she has a job um, and is succeeding, we provide programming that sort of propels her t on her path to economic independence. So how do you connect with these women or how do they find you? And what kinds of women do you help on a regular basis? Sure, well, uh, right now we have more than 130 Dress for Success locations throughout the world. And in each community, we work with uh, community-based organizations that really refer women to us. 
those, so those could be anything from domestic violence shelters to homeless shelters to educational institutions. Uh, but once a woman really makes a commitment to take her career to the next level and she has secured a job interview, they can then refer her to Dress for Success. And she comes in and usually the suiting will be her first introduction to our organization. But from there, once she walks through our doors, she's a Dress for Success woman for life. What, what is the most important thing you tell people during an interview to do? Uh, and, you know, once they're all outfitted and ready to go, because I think people at home would appreciate this, people probably in the studio, you know, what, right. what, are, what are the important things that, that really need to be accomplished during the interview process? Well, you really have to learn how to sell yourself. You know, a lot of women uh, are very humble when it comes to their job interviews. We don't really like to brag about ourselves. We don't want to come across as being arrogant. But really, this is the time where you want to put your best not just face forward, but foot forward. You want to put your best everything forward. So we try to provide them with that boost of confidence so that they know that it's okay for them to brag about themselves and to talk about themselves in that way. You also teach financial literacy. We do. So once a woman gets a job, you know, what does she do with her money now that she's making money? Um, a lot of women uh, don't even realize the benefits of having a savings account. Uh, you know, a lot of them go to check cashing places and don't understand that, you know, having money in the bank can actually make you money. Uh, what's a 401k? Um, how can you use credit cards uh, in a smart way? So we sort of address all those issues in financial literacy. And this is a program that we have had 100% success with. Every woman that comes through our financial literacy program at least walks away having a savings account. She understands how to make a budget for herself and for her family. That's so important. That's great. Thank you. Good for you. Well, let's go back to where it all began, which mm -hmm. was really paying it forward mm -hmm. with clothes so women could then make better lives for themselves. Right. And, and so who donates these clothes? Well, it is everyday women. It's women like you and I. That was my uh, first introduction to Dress for Success long before I was an employee. Uh, I donated my clothing, and ever since then, I have sort of kept tabs on the organization, and I feel like there are women around the world who do that. Uh, you know, all the clothing that we do provide for our women comes from other women in the community. And, and are there guidelines for donating? Because I bet a lot of people watching this of course. think that they have things in their closet that they you know, would like to sure. be used by someone else. Right, so all the clothing that we provide for our women is office appropriate attire. Uh, so if you feel comfortable wearing it to an interview, then that's something that we would take. Right. And you feel like you are completely unstoppable, and that's what we want women to think when they go for that interview. And your success rate is really high, isn't it, in terms of getting people hired? It is. You know, Dress for Success has been around for 17 years now, and in those 17 years, we have helped over 775,000 women around the world. Nice job. Thank you.